Haven't you seen Yojimbo? The sword always wins, no matter how precise your aim is. Will the jump attack even hit these guys? Oh, well that's... yeah, I guess that works too. It's not what I was trying to do, but it looked cool. They'll never expect that I'm not one of them if I'm wearing a cowboy hat. I'm just another run-of-the-mill cowpuncher. What samurai? Why does nobody talk about this game? It controls well, the music's good, it's stylish. It's really fun so far. Did it just get buried into obscurity by the phenomenal reputation of the PS2? Alright, let's try this blade mode thing out. Holy shit. Okay, so this is, uh, this is like that one Doom power-up that does instant glory kills. This is awesome. I'm really loving this game. If one hat made me invisible to the common man, then two hats will make me invisible to everyone. Or does it cancel out and just make me visible? I don't quite have a grasp on quantum hat dynamics yet. I can taste your hatred. It's like a fine wine. I look forward to getting drunk with it. In combat! I recognize that voice. You're a skull face in Metal Gear Solid V. I've listened to that such a lust for revenge clip way too many times to not recognize that voice. Prepare to get parried. Oh well that accomplished nothing for either of us. A samurai, huh? Hm. Things are getting interesting. You think you can beat him, Ratto? I recognize that voice too. That's Colonel Campbell. Did the voice acting director for this game just have the Metal Gear cast on speed dial? Now look what you made me do. Now where are all these rascals gonna go to the bathroom? You've ruined it for everyone. A graveyard's not a bad place for a fight. After all, the coffin maker won't have to go very far to do his job. I consider this a courtesy to him. So thank you all for meeting me here. You leave her alone! Go away! It's alright, Joey. Oh, like Joey from Shane. Very subtle. This insta-kill is a phenomenal game mechanic. No damage taken when it's active, and it recharges when successful. And it's fun to see your enemies turn into fountains of Mountain Dew Code Red. Just a really satisfying mechanic. Good job, Samurai Western. I'm never a big fan of uh, boss fights that are just bosses from earlier, but with additionals now. It's not clever or fun, it's usually just annoying. So this must be the Afro Samurai I've heard so much about. This combat system, while really repetitive, is pretty fun. Especially once you get into the rhythm. Just burning through an entire town of fathers and sons. What could be better than this? Finally. Am I supposed to be grinding in the past levels to fight these bosses? Or are they meant to be stupid difficult? Or do I just need to find a way to cheese them? Alright, what new sword did we get? Dual wield! Alright, switch into these bad boys. No questions, no debates. I'm all in on dual wielding swords. I don't mean to be that history guy, but I'm pretty sure that Tommy Guns were a 1920s thing. Not a late 1800s thing. Don't get me wrong, the Chicago typewriter is a cool weapon, but it feels a little anachronistic here. Man, these dual wield katanas are so much more fun to play with than the base sword. This should have been available much earlier in the game. Well, I guess I'll fight him later then. Probably with other enemies next time if the second Jean fight was anything to go off of. I appreciate your effort to stop me, but a wall of women hasn't been able to stop me before, and it won't stop me now. 
well, there was that one time. But that was a fluke. And I'm not counting it. Ow. Okay, that was just disrespectful. I don't even know where I am now. Alright, let's see this fox mask. Oh, I wanted him to actually wear it. I wanted it to be like Yusuke. Except Yusuke is infinitely cooler than Gojiro because he can do judgment cuts. That's an important criteria in my eyes. Now, I'm no bomb defusal expert, but I'm pretty sure stabbing dynamite isn't how you stop it from exploding. What's up, man? You gonna have other enemies with you this time? Yeah, there they are. A shame. I really liked that original fight with you. Are you stuck? Well, I'm definitely just gonna cheese this shit then. Well, it sucks that you got stuck in that tree, but I see this as karma. Don't bring a bunch of backup to a mono a mono fight, man. Alright. I've got a single cowboy boot, a fox mask, and a loot on my back. I'm ready to kick my ass. That's... That's absolute... I'm ready to kick some ass. Is what I meant. It's time to put an end to this. I will tell you when and where very soon. Until then. Why don't we just fight right now? Did you have something better that you needed to do? Just remembered that you left the oven on at home or something? Bar fight number three. You'd think they'd realize I'm not the guy they want to get into bar fights with after I kicked their ass on their terrain twice. But I may be giving the villains far too much credit. Alright. I've developed a technique for cheesing bosses. You drop your super that negates damage, and then you just spam the dual wield spam attack. This is probably supposed to be a big emotional fight, but I am too busy being good at the game to note it. Easy fight. Give me something harder. Won't allow it, you say? Very well. I'll have to show you myself. I'll show you that a sword can never beat a gun. You may be right. But have you considered that I have two swords? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that about a sword will never beat a gun? Sounds like John's to me. That's a nice little game. That combat's fun, but it is really repetitive. Um, the game's not very long. I beat it in around five hours, and the bosses are either really hard or absurdly easy. Um, it has its problems, but I do think that more people should talk about this game. It's a nice little hidden gem of the PS2 library. Oh my god. Jennifer Hale. That's Naomi and Emma. Uh, Pasia Valenza. I'm pretty sure that's Sniper Wolf. Phil Lamar is Vamp. Quentin Flynn. That's Raiden. I was joking about having the Metal Gear cast on speed dial, but did they? 